Hello, everyone. How are we doing? What? All right, there's my music. Um, how's it going? Oh, you don't know this game, Brody. Well, you're gonna learn. So as you can see, all right, we might need a little more volume here. Um, I have a little bit of a different setup. Um, I am using a capture card for this, so please bear with me. I have not used one of these before. Uh, what's up, mom? Hello! So I actually have my monitor over here, so I'm not like looking in the same place. I'm like looking over here. So today we are starting one of my favorite games of all time. Um, <laughs> this is a weird looking Game Boy. As you can see, I have the Final Fantasy VII Remake little skin on my PlayStation 4. Um, I don't have a PS5 because I'm not rich. Um, but today we are playing a game called Tekken 2. Um, okay, so there is an update, but we are just going to update later. Yeah, we're gonna update later. That's fine. So, this is Tekken 2. I'm gonna shut up for a second and let you enjoy the opening cutscene. Guys, I don't think you understand just how much I love the opening cutscene from Tekken 2. Oh my gosh, it was majestic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Um, so this is Tekken 2. I'm playing on my PS4. Um, I just have it downloaded on here. This is an old game. This was for the um, PlayStation 1. So this was for the original PlayStation. Um, I also played Tekken 3 a whole lot. Um, maybe we'll see that one way down the line. But really, the I want to talk a little bit about this game. Also, first of all, I don't know if I messed up the, um, what you call it, the... Oh yeah, this is like another little alternate intro thing. Scary. Scary. All right, so I got to cycle through this or things will really just um, pop up. But, um, yes, I played this. I played Tekken 3. Um, I don't know if I messed up the audio in the beginning of the intro. And if I did, we'll get it next time because that intro is literally maybe my favorite intro of all time of any video game or anything ever. I love the intro to this game so much with Heihachi climbing the mountain and then 
Oh, that music is so good. But the reason I love this game is growing up, my grandma had a PlayStation that she won in like a raffle. And here, I'm, I'm going into practice. We have all these characters that we can start with. But my grandma had a demo disc that had a lot of different games. And the only two characters that you could play in the Tekken 2 demo was June and Lei. And that is why Lei is my favorite character. Um, also, I mean, June is probably my second favorite character. So they were the only people you could play as in this game. Um, in my grandma's demo disc that she had. And there was, um, I mean, Lei's got all these awesome combos. You can do some cool stuff. I actually know him pretty well. Um, there are some other people that I'm definitely going to have to practice. <laughs> um, because really the goal that I want to achieve is to beat the game with every character in the game. Now here, Lei's got this awesome throw where you grab him and just do a insane flip and jump like 20 yards back. <laughs> it's completely impossible and completely amazing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, anyway, so on my grandma's demo disc, she had, um, she had this. There was Crash Bandicoot. Um, the original, oh man, there were a lot of other games. I think Jet Moto was on there. Um, I think there was a little demo of Twisted Metal that didn't work. I don't think. Huh. Lay's thinking about a bug? <laughs> I have no idea what's happening there. Um, but, as you can see, the graphics aren't great. This is, you know, this is an old game. Um, and, oh, he's got that sweet leg kick combo. Oh, oh, I can nail that all the time. Oh, I love it so much. And as you can see, Lei's got a gun holstered to his, his hip here. He is like a member of the Chinese police. Um, and everybody in this game has their own backstory. Um, oops, that's not what I want. Um, yes, there we go. Um... Every character has their own backstory in this game because really what's happening is all of these characters are taking part in a huge tournament, um, the King of Iron Fist tournament. And when you beat the game with them in the arcade mode, which is what we're going to try to do, um, you get a little cutscene that gives a little backstory on their character. You kind of have to fill in some of the blanks. And honestly, a lot of the blanks were filled in by like the little um, booklet that came with this game. Um, and it would give you like a biography on all the characters and I can't remember them off the top of my head. Maybe I should look those up and then read them out when we start to play as some of these characters. Um, I actually love that idea. But to start with today, we are going to do arcade mode because we're going to try to go through this whole thing. Um, each character has two outfits. Um, if you press X or circle, you'll get one of their outfits. If you press um, square or triangle, you'll get the other. I'll show you Lei's other outfit um, as we go through the arcade mode. Ah, stage one's against June. Brown as you can see, he's got this kind of like sick, like blue and black, like, gi. <laughs> Like, if you can see that. Oh, it's so cool. June's got this very, uh, you know, um, sexually provocative, unnecessarily <laughs> outfit, which is very late 90s. Um, but, uh, yes. Lei is my favorite character. Hold on. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can find, um, Tekken 2 booklet bios. Let's see. There is the Tekken 2, uh, Tekken 2 wiki. Um, let's see. There is a Tekken wiki, not to worry, for all of you that were really worried about this. Um, let me... All right, this might have to be a, diff a, a, a later project for me. Um, but, gosh, guys, I love this game. 
Um, the vibes are so great. They're so just like classic PS1. <laughs> yes, Brody, they remind you of that one Pokemon game with two evolutions. I can't remember the name. Um, all right. So as you go here, yeah, June's got that awesome like cartwheel kick. As you go here, in theory, um, the come on, um, the levels get easier. Or they get progressively harder as you go. Um, and they have that really awesome like echo die noise. And they make these noises, but their mouths mouths don't move. Oh, I overshot the kick. Or I undershot the kick, rather. And I know there's, like, a way... Come on, man. There's a way to, like, more properly block in this game. Uh, you're gonna have to bear with me as I relearn how to play this game. Because, believe it or not, I did not do a ton of prep. <laughs> um... I have tested this to make sure it worked. There we go. Oh. You win. Get the awesome you win pose. So that was June. Here we have King. This guy is awesome. I don't really understand. Because he wears like a like a leopard mask or like a cheetah mask. Um, and he's like a wrestler, kind of, as you can see. That's, that's what his moves are kind of based off of. Um, because the guy that's in that suit is like a Mexican, like, luchador type guy. Um, but for whatever reason, he makes, like, actual big cat noises when you fight against him. <laughs> Which doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like, listen. <laughs> Like he just roared like a like a tiger. <laughs> um, you win, win, win. There we go, baby. Also, let me know. Like, I'm really testing things out with a with this capture card. Like, I know that there are better options out there as far as capture cards go. Um, but I wanted to see. Oh lord. Uh, I wanted to see how this could go, um, and I figured Tekken would be a pretty decent spot to start because the graphics are a little more, you know, they're a little more basic. Um, you can kind of hack fights that way, honestly, if you just kind of do the low right kick like that. It doesn't always work, but if you just do it like that, you can kind of cheese things like I'm doing right now. Let's see if I can work. <laughs> Um, so Brody, you're saying all you see is Street Fighter. Um, I mean, this is a very similar game to Street Fighter. Um, oh, the game audio is a little too loud? I got you. How's that? Round one. Let's see, does that work a little better for you? Oh. <laughs> This is Paul. His hair is incredible. Um, <laughs> all you, uh, well, let's see if I can get us to show it. All you eagle-eyed viewers out there will notice that there's something a little bit different about the New York City backdrop in this game. Um, something hadn't quite happened yet at the making of this game. Um, <laughs> that's really all I have to say about that. Um, um, and there's my first loss. So, uh, as you go, you can continue. If you're playing this game in an actual arcade, you'd have to put in more coins. But here, I can just restart infinitely. Uh, just because, you know, we own the game. You don't have to rely on uh, arcade quarters. So as you go, you... Uh, you um, you can kind of time your entire run. As you can see, like, the little counter above my health bar is timing our entire run. Um, let's see. Um, Alright, you feel like that's better? Okay, good. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, that was the most powerful punch in the world. 
Um, 911 is your favorite number because it's the final. I see. So I never like fighting Paul. I feel like whenever you fight him as the computer, there are some characters that are just kind of tough when the computer is using them. There we go. Paul, I feel like, is one of those characters. He's very punchy. Oh, I love Lei. He's very drunken master. Um, so Heihachi is the guy from the intro. And he is a pretty mean guy. He's like an old guy. Um, an old Japanese kind of like power fighter. Um, let's see. Oh. Um, so, um, what were you saying? Oh yeah, we were talking about Street Fighter. So basically, there are three games that are very similar. It is Tekken, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat. I never really played Street Fighter. Um, like, I would probably like it. Um, but I do not like Mortal Kombat. There we go. Sit down, Heihachi, you old man. You win. Uh, Jack 2's a robot. He's a Round cyborg. One. So he's going to be making... <laughs> As you can hear, he made like a robot noise. When, just a machine noise when he hit the ground. Um, but yeah, it was it was really kind of like the, the fighting game wars between those three franchises. Um, Tekken, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat. Um, Street Fighter is, is cool. Um, I'm sure I would enjoy it if I played it. Um, but uh, I don't enjoy Mortal Kombat. I find Mortal Kombat to be like, pretty gross. Um, I mean, you know, I know a lot of people like it and they like the violence and that kind of thing. Um, but, and especially in the newer games, the violence is just so ridiculously over the top. It's crazy. There we go. I want to be doing that so bad. Lei has another kind of like grab attack. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, nope. He got me. I love that noise Lei makes. <laughs> when he does, that is iconic to me. Round one. Fight! Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, it was Pokemon, then Yu-Gi-Oh, now punching people on the street. Round <laughs> two. Yeah, the streams are getting a little crazier. Um, I just was so excited to play this game for you guys, because this is a... Our first perfect. It was not in our favor. Alright. See if I can cheese this guy. There we go. <laughs> um, you win. But this game is just so iconic for me. Mm. Round one. Mina. Mina is probably the most overtly sexualized character in the game, which is not necessarily a great thing, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, she is really good. She has a really good kind of like punching. Like, she has a really good special punch. She employs. Oh, and for some reason we are fighting on like the Opolis, it looks like. Um because I'm pretty sure Nina's character is like canonically Irish, if I'm not mistaken. Um you know all those blonde Irish ladies famously. Um oh boy. Let me do this. Oh come on! I had the grab attack. Round one. Fight. And you, you know what's you know what's fun. Oh, you, gotta come back. you know what's fun. Oh my gosh. There are a lot of those there are a lot of those combos. Um, um 
There we go. Let's do it. Um, that I just don't know how to do. Oh yeah, I forgot about that kit. Ooh, a hundred followers and you battle. Excuse me, SCG and Tekken 2. Um, there we go. There's our first good perfect. Love it. Um, but it's funny that I'm kind of struggling against Nina here. Ooh, that was cool. How'd I do that? That went through her head. Um. Uh, not perfect. <laughs> um, um, as I was saying, it's kind of funny that I'm struggling this much with Lei, considering that Lei is probably the character I know the most a lot. Let's see if I can choose one. Nope. Sometimes you can kind of like... You'll fight against characters that can combo those... Um, grab attacks. And... I have no idea how to do that. Round two. Maybe I'll have to take a stream and just kind of like learn. There we go. Come on. I don't want to waste this start. There we go. There it is. We're finally past Nina. So... Um, this is pretty important. So, as you are playing through the arcade mode, you are going to, for the first seven rounds, you are going to fight against normal opponents. On the eighth round, you are going to fight against an opponent you have not yet unlocked. Um, so in this case, it is Bruce. We do not have the option to play as Bruce yet. Um, so here we are. And then there are, um... Two set opponents for nine and ten as well. There are ten stages. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. There we go. Bruce is like a kickboxer like character. <laughs> it, it, they do say that it's bad to hit a Brody. But we have no problems doing that here. They're in the tournament just like we are. Come on now. Uh. Yes! There we go! You win. So here... Ooh, look at that face. So, in uh, stage 9, you're always fighting uh, Kazuya. And he is really tough. Um... And can, oh, there we go. Nice first, nice first try back here. He is canonically the husband of Jude, which is interesting. Um, at least I'm pretty sure that's right. I am not brushed up on my second lore. I love this guy. And it can really just completely kill you and me. And he's got a sick track. There we go. There we go. First try, Kazuya. All right, and now for the tenth fight in the final fight, we fight Devil. Round one. Fight. And this is the Devil form of Kazuya. Oh, and he just broke my back. Um, he has a move where he can fly up and hit us with a laser beam. And I really hope you don't see it. Ooh, he was about to unleash one on us. Um, ooh. <laughs> you win. All right. And this music is so epic and gorgeous. Oh. 
That move is sick. <laughs> I love that move. Oh. Ah! Ooh. That was the laser. <laughs> As you can tell, that was the laser. Yes! <laughs> there we go. Alright. And with that, we have cleared his lay. Let's look at his cutscene. So Lay's is kind of cheeky. Um, in some of the other ones... Ooh. I do not remember what the credits are like. This is awesome. I feel like I've never actually watched them. So this music is pretty sick. Um, as you can tell, this game was made by a lot of wonderful Japanese folks. Um, hence why, you know, the main characters are Kazuya and June and Heihachi, which is, or Heihachi, which is, which are very Japanese names. Um, and, uh, so Lay's, um, ooh, sorry, I can't even talk through this. Listen through this once. Um, Lay's cutscene is kind of cheeky, kind of fun. It just shows that he's a cop and he's at the shooting range practicing his target practice. Um, but uh, other other characters give you a little more insight into their character. Um, on our next Tekken stream, I'll have to I'll have to drop some lore on you. I'll have to do some studying to kind of give you a little bit more of a bio on some of these characters um, as we try to beat the game with something. Oh no, the game is not over. I was able to beat the, beat the arcade mode as Lei, um, and we're gonna try to beat the arcade mode with all of the characters, so we still have tons more characters to go, but I was able to defeat it with Lei. Um, Namco. Uh, Namco, I think, I mean, they developed a lot of games. I think they did um, Pac-Man. So as you can see, I've played with Lei 100% of the time. Um, and it always shows that after you complete a um, arcade mode. And oh, we're not going to watch it again, but I just want to get that initial high. There's Paul riding off on his... Ugh. And here you got our friend June in Tokyo. And here's Lei! He's busting out of an exploding business. Um, so great. So there are other modes. That's a good point, Brody. Um, I have done other things before. Arcade mode is generally my favorite. Team battle mode is just kind of like, um, kind of like a local fight against other people mode. Um, survival mode and time attack mode. Let me just see what these are. Um, um, oh, there's Bruce. We've unlocked Bruce now that we've beaten the game with Lei, and you can't see him on the character selection screen. You only have 20 seconds to pick a character. They do not give you a lot of time. Um, but now we're back on our normal, and then Bruce is kind of, like, behind them. Um, so, I'm just picking Lei for now. 
I think what survival mode is, maybe you have like Fight. a certain amount of lives. Oh yes, I can see, yes. So as you can see, I only have one little um, circle there right next to the battle time. Um, and it looks like when you win, if I'm not mistaken, let's win first. Okay. Um, if you see when we win, my HP bar went back a little bit. So in the next fight, I will start with a little bit less HP than full. Um, and if, you know, can go through these fights without losing a lot of HP. Oh boy. <laughs> that move is sick. And we died immediately. So we were able to win one match um, in survival mode as Lei. So... It's not really anything crazy. Um, and something I'm probably not gonna be very good at. Ah, oh, wow. So I'm not even as, oh, wow, okay. So that's survival mode. Um, really the reason I wanted to do arcade mode was just because that's kind of like the story mode of this game. Like it is just a, it is just a fighting game. Um, so there's not like a ton, um, but let's see what time attack mode is. Um, let's play as June for a second, um, cause I love June as well. Round one, fight! Uh, 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 figure out what uh, the time attack mode does exactly. Let's try this. You can see some of June's moves here. Giving you a little early preview. I think we can try to beat the game as June tonight. Perfect! You win! Round one. Fight! Oh yeah, this is Yoshimitsu. We haven't seen him yet. Um, he is an insane character because he has a sword. <laughs> wow, these people are terrible right now. I'm just smoking these fools. Oh, broke his arm. There we go. Hey, Alright, what happens if I lose here? Um, because here is Martial Law, which is a, just a wonderful pun. <laughs> martial Law, which is a real thing, but also this guy's name. I did not even try to block that at all. I'm kind of testing to see what happens if you in time of life. I have turned up for that uh, cutscene. Hit me, buddy. There we go. If you catch Law in some of the later stages, he can be really good. Hey, yo. You continue. Seven. Two. I don't understand what time attack is. Very interesting. I'll have to look into that. I'll I'll uh I'll do some more research before my next stream. Um, but let's see. We have some time to try, oops, try to beat the game with one more character, I think, tonight. Um, and I mean, for our first stream, why not just go with my two favorite characters? We'll go with, um, Lei and we'll go with June. Um, well, we saw her normal outfit. I guess I'm going to be playing as her insane outfit with, like, the bow and the high socks and the short Round shorts. Round one. Um, <laughs> So there, there you have it, sports fans. Um, here we have King again. I'm kind of hoping we can see some, some of the other characters we haven't yet. Oh boy. Oh, just a tombstone pile driver for you. I do. Oh boy. One of the reasons I love June is she has that iconic, iconic split kick. Oh yeah. There's probably a real name for it. You win. win. Oh, she's so cool. I freaking love June. Um, but, uh, 
So yes, um, in the game, or in kind of like the universe of Tekken, June is married to Kazuma, and I don't really know what their deal is other than that. I don't know if she likes him or not. Um, oh, I'm so excited to give you guys the Tekken lore. Oh, okay. Brody, I'll draw any Pokemon from memory. Give me one. We're not doing a Pokemon stream, but I will always, always be down, always be down to uh, enjoy some Pokemon related action. Um, there we go. Combo. Round two. Fight. And June's pretty good, honestly. Like, I'm not really hurting for moves when it comes to June. Ah, time on that kick. Let's go. So sick. Oh, Lay's stage is so awesome. Look at this. You're fighting on top of like a building in Hong Kong. It's so cool. At least I think that. I don't know much about China, to be honest. Um, and you have that awesome yin-yang there in the, <laughs> in, the, in the middle. And the music is also great. Oh, perfect. Fight. One of these days we'll have to go into practice mode. And I'll try and I'll try to learn like I'll try to learn some combos or kind of show you some of like the there there's her arm break attack. It's her other one. Oh, just a nice little flip. Nice little flip. See you next fall. Um Okay, so uh so I gotta draw Churchwick. I think I've drawn Churchwick for you before. You can pick another one if you want. Let me let me look at my picture in here. Almost positive. You win round two. Fight. Okay. Oh yeah, I've drawn Churchwig for you. I can try my best to draw it again, or you can pick another one. Oh. Perfect. Perfect, baby. June is cleaning up. Oh, the evolution Grodel? Absolutely. Um, you win, win. Oh, I hate the hot I'm sorry. Michelle. I don't really know what Michelle's deal is. Obviously, she's supposed to be like a Native American, but she looks super white and her name is Michelle. So, please forgive me for that one. Um, let's see. Okay, I gotta draw Grodel. Um, so Grodel's kind of like a little like meaner looking. Um, he's kind of got more of a... Oh, what does his head look like? I'll give him kind of like some angrier eyes. And I know he's got like... <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. On his shell, he has these two like bushes. Is there anything on his head? Um, there's got to be something on top of Grodel's head that I'm missing. Um, because right now, from memory, 
That, that's my Lugia. There he is. <laughs> that's about what I've got for Grodel. I know, yeah, because I know he has kind of like the two bushes on either side. Is there something like on top of his head? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, there, <laughs> there's Grodel from memory. It's not good. It never is. Um, <laughs> but I know I have that for you. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's get back to this. Let's, uh... Let's punish Michelle for whitewashing here. Nope. I hate it when you can really see it coming. You know they're gonna just come stomp on you and you're just powerless to stop it. There we go. Hey, at least I get a C minus. I do appreciate that. There we go. I like how you can do that move and kind of stomp on him. There we go. Just gotta go low on the shell. She won't see you coming. Oh, here's Yoshimitsu once again in his definitely better outfit to me, um, with the, with this kind of like the samurai hat there, um, and the green pants. I love that little triple kick he's got. Ooh, the fast punches. Um, also love his stage. Look at those trees, man. Look at the intrigue. Oh, baby, come on now. Is the opposite. Final round. Fight. Ooh. Yoshimitsu has so many awesome moves. Like he, he can use his sword. Um, he can use his sword, obviously. Round one. He can also like teleport, which I don't know if he'll do it here. He is a character. We'll go into practice mode and I'll show you. Something. Oh, that movie's also sick. Yeah, also, it's like, if you watch the opening, he, like, is bionic. He's, like, kind of a cyborg, maybe. Um, I don't, I do not know his deal. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, my art homework is due Monday. Okay, I got a week. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Oh, also, how was everybody's day today? I haven't really, I haven't really asked that. Oh, it's... It was a Monday, so you know. So that can be really... Um, that can be really testing. Uh, he tried to do the teleport on me. Um, he can teleport behind you. Uh, and I think my backing up makes it so you can't do that on Oh, tried to slice me. Come on. Yeah! What a comeback. Oh, that was incredible. Um, okay, so this will be, uh, like we saw with Lei, this will be our last fight against um, a regular enemy. Um, oh. Jack has the big old body slam. There we go. You know what's funny? Um, there, there might be some, some real fighting game aficionados in the, in the chat here, or watching eventually, that are just appalled with how I'm playing. <laughs> Because I know there's got to be Tekken players out there that are way better than me. Um, but you know, I'm just I'm just trying to make things happen any way I can. You know, I'm not the most uh, elegant player of the game, but I can make it happen. You know. You win. 
Sometimes you just gotta break out the locust. So here's who we can uh, who we can unlock. As you can see, we have this old man. I love his little music here. I think every new character that you're gonna unlock is gets this music. He's great. I love Wong. Um, as a kid, I always said Wang, of course. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I feel bad for using the old man. Ooh, he's got that same Michelle Chang in there. They just kind of reskinned it on him. I like how he's kind of down here. He's kind of old and feeble, but still got a little pep in his step. Um, he's great. Um, <laughs> just iconic. I couldn't cheese the old man. Oh, Brody. I wish this was Spencer from the Battle Frontier. You know what? I'm just going to pretend that it is. Oh, nice little toss, old man. Um, he's using my low kick strategy against me. Um, but yeah, I'm certainly going to pretend this is Spencer from the Battle Frontier. Because after that initial fight against Spencer, I was... I was wanting to. I never use punches really. Oh, I had such a good combo. Take those for hours, baby. Ooh. I almost said a swear. I know, we are getting on by Wong. He's, he's, I mean, he's pretty good. There we go. I was actually really surprised that we, when we played as Lei, we were able to first try Kazuya and Devil. Like, it was not Gosh, dang it. I'm gonna have to come up with some other strategies. <laughs> we are getting on. we kind of got some stray polygons here in this in this arena. Um, kind of popping up out of nowhere. Whoa! I mean, I gotta say, that was still pretty sick. I mean, he's got great moves. Got nothing. Ooh, I gotta remember that move. The triple low kick there. Hey yo. Round two. Fight. He blocks everything. I'm trying to actually employ some different strategies. I just can't get any damage in. I get him to like half health and that's it. He's punching me in the face. Hey, 
All right, all right. Round two. Fight! Trying to be very conservative, but it's still <laughs> I am really trying to put him in retirement. I would love to so much. Um, especially considering we got the win on the first round. Dang it, he blocks that kick. Alright, alright. We, like, we beat Bruce in, like, five seconds, man. And I and he has that move that I can't block. It's dead. That's dead. And he got out of that. tired of that. That move is so cool. <laughs> oh wow, this is husband against wife? I just realized. There you go. Good girl. There we go. See, Wong was the real final boss here. Watch him. Like oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. He was going easy on me. You win. Because I'm so hot. <laughs> oh, this music. Come on. Round one. Oh. Fight. Fight. Yeah. And he has like the evil devil kind of vocal effect on himself. Oh gosh. Hey, yo. Round two. Fight. Fight. Yeah. Alright, alright. Final round. Fight! Oh, come on! I have not lost to Kazuya or Devil. And he was about to laser beam me in the face. You win, win. All right, let's see June's cutscene. I forget what this is. These graphics, baby. So just an elegant lover of nature is June. 
You don't really get much about her character from that, though. Alright, so there's that. Um, and now, as you can see, we have our percentage. We've Yeah, we've played a lot more with June. That was a lot harder with June than it was with Lei. Um, but, uh, well, here's the opening cutscene again. I guess as this plays, I'll go ahead and, and talk to you. Um, guys, this has been delightful. I have absolutely loved this. Um, I cannot wait to beat the game with more characters, kind of show you more, uh, do some practice rounds with some characters, kind of sh uh, show you some of their moves. Um, again, I could watch this. I could watch this opening cinematic a thousand times. It just smashes the window through the mirror. Yeah, and here he's just like his bionic hand. And it's, but and he looks like a guy with a mask on. Oh yeah, here's Nina. She's just like, what are we doing here? <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's sitting in the chair. She's like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here for, here with me tonight. Um, we will be back later this week with more Platinum again. Tekken, it's taken that Yu-Gi-Oh! slot. It's not going to be anything crazy. Um, we're not going to be doing it all the time. Um, but thank you for indulging me, and um, hopefully you can enjoy too. But um, with that, I will see you later. Yes, Kazuya is the devil and not the old man. It's true. Um, he has kind of like a devil gene in him. Um, but... Uh, with that, folks, I hope you all have a lovely night, um, a lovely week. I will see you later. Have a great day and evening. And peace out, kids.